Number 37, complete and balance the following half reactions, which is steps two to five in the half reaction method. And we have our example here. We have Hg2Cl2 solid yielding Hg liquid plus Cl minus aqueous. Okay, so the first thing is I'm just going to write this nice and big just so that we have more space to play with. So we have Hg2Cl2 solid yields Hg liquid plus Cl minus aqueous. Okay, so there's a couple of things I just want to say here, right? Uh, usually, you'll see a reaction that they want you to balance, and they'll usually tell you, like, if it's in acidic solution, so they'll say in acidic solution or in basic solution, but just know that if you don't see anything like that, always go back to balancing in the acidic solution, okay? So that's first thing. Second thing is I gave you all of the uh, steps here for a full redox reaction. However, we only need to go up to step five in this case, okay? But I just wanted to give you all the ones so you could write it down. And the last thing is that I want to put an emphasis on just memorize these steps and memorize them in the numbers, okay? Because it's it's just like a big system here. You're gonna keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. So it's just easier to kind of like memorize the flow and don't change up the numbers because then things are gonna get a little wonky, okay? All right, now let's ready. <laughs> now let's ready now. Now we're ready, okay. So the first step we don't have to do because the first step is always breaking it into a half reaction, however, we already have a half reaction here, so we don't have to do that step. Number two is we now are gonna start balancing elements. We balance all elements except for hydrogen and oxygen. So I look at my reaction and I see, okay, I have a mercury, right? That, and it you know matches up with the mercury and I have a chlorine. Those are two elements that are not hydrogen or oxygen, so I have to balance them. Doesn't matter which one I start with. Let's start with mercury. Hg, right? And I have two of them here. I have mercury on this side, but I only have one. So it looks like I have to put a number here, right? You can only add coefficients at this stage of the game. So what number would I put to give me a two? Yeah, right? You got to put a two here. And that will balance out the mercuries. Okay. Now we just got to make sure that the chlorines are balanced. Well, let's see. Chlorine on this side. I have two of them. Chlorine on this side. Looks like I only have one of them, right? So I have two chlorines and I got one chlorine. Looks like I got to put a number here, right? What's the number, guys? Definitely a two, right? Two times one is two. Okay. And now we're done with step two. Let's go to the next step, so the step is done. The next step always is to check for oxygens. You're going to balance oxygen by always adding water, H2O. The oxygen that you're gonna balance is the O in water. But if I see here, I have no oxygens on the left, and I have no oxygens on the right. So it's totally okay to skip steps, right? So since I don't have any oxygen, I'm just gonna skip over step number three. Now we're moving on to four. The next step is to balance hydrogen by always adding H plus. But once again, I look on my left side, I have no hydrogen. This is not hydrogen, right? The whole thing is mercury. And then I look over here and I have no hydrogen. So I can skip over that step as well. We're finally at the last step. We have to add electrons, which is E negative, to the more positive side of the reaction. Now, what I like to do at this step is I like to put a barrier between the reactant side and the product side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put like a little barrier over here, just to make sure that I'm only taking these charges on the left and I'm only taking these charges on the right. Now, we have to find out what the charges are. You're it's, it's very simple. You don't have to look for individual charges. All you got to do is just look in that upper right-hand corner. 
Now, for this compound, Hg2Cl2, if I look in the upper right-hand corner, did they give me a charge here, right? They didn't give me a charge. So what's the charge? If you don't see a charge, it's a zero. And I only have one, right, of this whole compound. So one times zero is just a zero. The overall charge of the left-hand side is zero. Now we got to do it for the two uh, different things on the right-hand side. So I have to do it for mercury, and I got to do it for chlorine because they're two separate things. There's a plus sign here. But let's do it for mercury. Did you see a charge in the upper right-hand corner? No. So what charge is it? It's a zero. And I have two mercuries, but it doesn't matter. Two times zero is still zero. So there's a zero there. Let's do it for chlorine now. Ah, in this case, I do see a charge in the upper right-hand corner. Now, it's just a negative. So what number is that? Ah, it's a negative one. That's the only number that they don't have to give you, right? If it's a negative, it's a negative one. If it's a positive, it's a plus one. But if it's a negative two, they have to say that, and so on and so forth. So we have a negative one, but now how many chlorines did we have? We had two of them. So I have to multiply. Two times a negative one is a negative two. So now you have to combine those two charges, right? Because it's this plus this. So a zero from the mercury plus a negative two from the chlorine. The overall charge would be a negative two. Now, since I have my overall two charges, I can finally add the electrons. And you always add those electrons to the more positive side. Out of these two numbers, which one is more positive? The zero is, right, if you think about it on a number line. So I know I'm going to be adding electrons here, and we represent electrons as E negative. But now the question is, how many electrons? One electron? Two? Three electrons? Think of it as a, num a number line. How many bunny hops would it take to go from a zero to a negative two? right? Two, right? Zero, negative one, negative two. I need two numbers to go from a zero all the way to a negative two. That's the number that goes here, the number of bunny hops. And that's it. You're done with this question. So if you just wanted to rewrite it, you know, and just make it nice and neat, it would be two electrons plus Hg2Cl2 solid. And this is, I said nice and neat, but this is a little ugly, according to my standards. <laughs> uh, two HG liquid, and then plus two Cl minus. And that's it. That's the final answer. Guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments if it did. If, if you want, you can like the video. That just gives me a heads up as to know if I'm doing my job right. Um, I love helping you guys, and I hope this makes sense. If you want to subscribe, that's fine. But if not, that's totally fine too. Love you guys anyway. Um, I'll see you guys all in the next lesson, okay? I hope you guys have an awesome day. Let's keep studying hard. All right, bye-bye.